Yeah, first part is uh, calyx. So, calyx is present at the first node and these are generally in green color and uh, calyx is calyx are the sepals. So, protect the flower when it is in the bud stage. Sometimes they are also synthesizing the food materials. So, the calyx is if all the sepals are fused, sometimes the sepals are fused or free. If the sepals are fused, fused sepals. A fused sepals condition is called as gamosepalus. So, if the sepals, all the sepals, a number of sepals are present depending on the species. So, the sepals are fused sometimes. So, the sepals, when the sepals are fused, it is called as gamosepalus condition. And a pet, here the sometimes uh, free petals, free sepals, sepals are not fused, they are free, they are not attached, they are not fused, it is called as a uh, polysepalous condition, gamosepalous, polysepalous, gamosepalous is showing the fused sepals, all the sepals are fused completely, so, polysepalous, if the sepals are free, that condition is called as polysepalous. So, sepals are generally ephemeral, ephemeral means uh, they are short lived, they live for a short period, so just uh, they protect the flower after flowering, after pollination and during the uh, f uh, during the formation of fruit, the sepals uh, fall off. Here the calyx is generally short lived, but sometimes uh, here the calyx is persistent, permanent. Permanent means uh, it is uh, it is developing along with the fruit. So that is persistent calyx. Here the calyx are sepals are ephemeral. Ephemeral means uh, short lived and sometimes uh, the sepals are persistent and uh, 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 developing along with the fruit. So, persistent calyx is observed in tomato, in tomato in the fruit also we can observe the uh, green colored uh, sepals, so persistent calyx. A persistent calyx is observed in tomato and uh, brinjal. In brinjal also here in tomato, here the sepals are attached to the fruit and in the brinjal also here succulent or they are storing food materials are also. Here this uh, sepals are also storing the food materials. It is uh, sepal persistent uh, sepal persi persistent calyx a persistent calyx here it is not storing food material but it is storing the food material sometimes uh, the sepals are in hair like structures here in the fruit uh, in the sipsela fruit if you observe the sipsela fruit a number of uh, sepals hair like uh, sepals are present so these uh, persistent it is also persistent calyx the persistent calyx is called as pappus here so pappus pappus is useful for the dispersal of uh, fruit very small fruits are present in the here helianthus or sunflower family in the sunflower uh, plant in the sunflower family the fruits are called as sipsela fruits so, the sipsilla fruits are having persistent calyx, hair like structures known as pappus. Pappus helps in the dispersal or distribution of uh, small fruits. So, they are uh, moving, yeah, they are dispersed from one place to other place with the help of pappus. So, calyx is first of all sometimes gamosepalus, fused condition, fused sepals, free sepals, and ephemeral, short lived, and in some plants they are. Uh, here persistent along with the fruit they are developing or uh, they are attached to the fruit also a tomato brinjal and in a sipsela fruits are a sipsela in the sipsela fruit also pappus is present uh, so pappus is nothing but uh, a 
her calyx. The calyx is helping in the her dispersal of fruits. So it is about a calyx.